Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you the process of modeling a coffee cup. I'll skip post-process and full painting, but I will go as far as showing you the method to add color to specific areas. I hope you find it helpful. Turning on the grid makes it easier to work. We'll start shaping the coffee cup using the lathe tool. Turn B spline onto smooth lines. When drawing straight lines, turning snap on makes it easier. If the angle shifts, the grid will be hidden. So long pressing the cube to lock it makes things easier. We'll create the cup saucer in the same way, using the lathe tool. It's a bit tricky to see, but the two objects' centers are misaligned, so we'll reset their positions to the world center. We'll proceed while making fine adjustments to the details. If other objects get in the way while working, you can use Solo to hide them. We'll create the coffee cup's handle using the tube tool. To round the tip, taper the end slightly.
Once the shape is finalized, press validate. We'll tidy up the mesh for now using Quadra Mesher. Smooth the surface with the Smooth tool. Using Subdivide will make the mesh smoother. We'll use the same method to add rounding to other objects as well. We'll use the Move tool and others to refine the shape. We'll use the Move and Crease tools to add waves and patterns to the object. We'll keep the symmetry settings as they are. I set fall off to in out pow 2 this time. Here are my pressure settings, but feel free to adjust them as you like. The surface looked a bit rough, so I applied Subdivide. We'll add some color to certain areas. Painting directly on the current mesh with the Paint tool would blur the edges, so I'd like to add objects in certain areas and change their color. I'd like to use Face Group to create a group for the areas where I want to add objects. Normally, I would set front to off. However, in this case, possibly due to its deformed shape, I couldn't create the group as intended. Therefore, I set it to on. And since this allowed me to create the group relatively cleanly, I did so just for this time. I will refine the details of the face group. Long press to pick up a color. Create a mask on the area where I added the face group. Turn on tap on. Tap the face group. Now the mask has been created. Add a slight thickness to the masked area. Clear the mask.
We'll add a few more objects using the same method. I added objects to two other areas as well. This concludes the modeling for this video. I'm not sure if this has been helpful, but I'd be happy if it has.